moment in my life. Hello everyone, I am Dustin Childs, Head of Threat Awareness here at Trend Zero Day Initiative. With me is Brian Gorris, he is the VP of Threat Research here at Trend. Brian, how are we doing? Uh, doing good, you know, packing up here after a you know, long three-day competition, but you know, feeling really good about all the entries and all the stuff that we've been able to do here at Offensive Con, also with the vendors and the contestants who've come out to participate in the contest. That's right, it is the end of Pwn to Own Berlin, our very first one here in 2025 at Offensive Con, and uh, we kind of got off to a rough start, didn't we? Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, so we ship a lot of gear to do these contests and uh, Thursday was when we started our gear arrived Wednesday at 6 30 p.m. it was very delayed to prepare all of this yes. three hours hopefully I mean depends on what shape they come out in it's been a while yeah. sorry <laughs> but we did it and that first day, one of the very first entries was in our new category, artificial intelligence. Yeah. Turns out we got 12 entries, uh, eight of which, excuse me, nine of which were in NVIDIA Triton. Why do you think that was such a popular uh, target? I don't know, I think when people start looking at the code and they, you know, maybe they find one bug or maybe they, they get a couple, you know, then other people may hear about that and all of a sudden we have nine <laughs> entries in the competition. So. Yeah, and uh, eight of those were successful. Seven of those ended up being bug collisions though because NVIDIA also did a bug sweep over the last couple months looking for bugs and they found a lot of the same bugs that the competitors found, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. It was actually one of the first times where we had a, you know, a vendor really go aggressive, uh, you know, looking at the code, trying to find vulnerabilities before the competition. It's their NVIDIA's first time in the competition. Mm -hmm. We did have a couple that were actually full wins, which we're really, yeah. really excited about. I know NVIDIA was excited Woo! about them as well, you know, and we'll get those all patched here in the, in the coming months. Yeah, with the full win was a four bug chain. We also had full win in the NVIDIA uh, container toolkits and in Chroma and in Redis. Yeah, Those were great bugs too, right? Yeah, all great stuff for the competition. It wasn't just AI that we did here. We also had uh, virtualization, which was fantastic. And for the first time, we had not one, but two ESXi uh, exploits. Yeah, we also saw a SharePoint bug that was really great. And of course we had the privilege escalation for both Red Hat Linux and Windows. We had quite a few Windows 11 privilege escalations, didn't we? Yes, we did. I, it was uh, you know, it was a lot of fun when we had Microsoft coming into their room trying to analyze all of those bugs. A lot of them were unique, which is always interesting yes. to see, but there was one collision this year in the in the Windows category which, you know, for us was a little bit surprising. Yeah, and especially because that researcher had submitted to Microsoft a lot and he'd never collided with anyone before. Yeah. So just kind of bad just luck. Just a little that he unlucky did. there. Yeah. Yeah, that's too bad. I don't know what, what to say. <laughs> but let's talk some totals here. You ready for this? Yeah, I don't know if I am. Well, our budget isn't, <laughs> but. $1,078,750 awarded over the three-day competition. 28 unique zero days. Just in the AI category alone, $180,000 for seven unique zero days. The ESX I bugs alone cost us $300,000. So a lot of money. And Master of Pwn yeah. is... Star Labs. Star Labs came up for the, you know, came out here and participated. They were here in person, I think, for the first time. Yep. Uh, and so, you know, it was good to see them come in and, and you know, win some, win some big prizes. So first off, we are so honored to accept this award on the rest of our, on behalf of our Star Labs team. Thank you to ZDI and Trent Michael for organizing a great P2O, and Binary Gecko for organizing Offensive Corner. Now, some of you may be wondering how just two of us had six attempts across six categories. And actually, both of us only had a single target each. The remaining four targets are the effort of the rest of our team back at Star Labs. So I would just like to take this opportunity to shout them out. So uh, yeah, shout out to Lerti, Billy, Ramdan, Nguyen, Zung, and Bruce. And thank you to our boss, Jacob, for, su for supporting our endeavors uh, always. We hope to be back again next year. And thank you, and happy hacking. They flew in and they won $320,000, 35 Master of Pwn points, so it was a fantastic show for them. Yeah!
Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, sir. <laughs> yeah, this side. On the other side. This side. side. One, go. Yeah! yeah! But it was a fantastic show for all the contestants who came out. You know, we saw a lot of really good stuff here at Offensive Con. It's our first time being at this conference. Uh, the rooms were packed every time yes. we ran an entry, which we love to see. We definitely feel like this uh, relationship with uh, Binary Gecko and Offensive Con is going to be something that's going to be long lasting. And we feel uh, that this is a great place for us to run this competition. Yeah, so thanks to them, of course. Uh, thanks to the vendors who came and participated. We couldn't do this without their help. And of course, Thank you to the research, security researchers who bring all of their exploits and trust us to handle that coordinated disclosure. And guess what, vendors? 90 days, let's tick go. tock. Let's you go. Got, let's go. Let's get those patches out and make them available. Brian, any last thoughts about the competition? That was, you know, like I said, you know, the team did a great job uh, running the show, uh, you know, making my, my, minor adjustments here and there to, to keep things moving. All of the contestants did really great, and we're really, <coughs> really excited for, uh, for all of the cool, cool stuff that we got to see. Yeah, it was really great stuff, and it really gets me pumped into our next competition, which is coming this fall. We're going back to Cork, Ireland for Pwn to Own Ireland. It'll be the beginning of October. We don't know the exact dates yet. Yeah, working on that. We're working on that, but uh, it'll be there. So small office, home office devices like uh, printers, Wi-Fi routers, NAS devices, IP cameras, and of course, mobile phones. That's always where we have the phone category. See a lot of really good stuff yeah, there. I, so. I know Ken's already working on some things here. <laughs> good. So, from uh, Berlin, signing off one last time, this is Dustin Child saying thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Yeah. I can't feel my leg. <laughs> <laughs>